I, I don't know how I feel about that. Ah, uh, this is up here. Ah, uh, this guy's that gun again. Don't really need it. Okay, I got enough good stuff here. I mean, it, we're, we're pretty much like... Yeah, fucking, I love the, the VSS now. I'm so glad I went back for it. Literally nothing in any of those containers. I'm pretty, uh, I'm, I'm actually 100% sure it's, it's uh, uh, random what you get. Probably does whatever Half-Life does whenever you open up crates. It uh, gives you what you most need at that moment. Alright, it's just loading something. We, have, we don't have much further to go, don't worry guys. We'll just continue. No, nope, I can't aim right now. Pretty sure that's a guy's head right there. But you know, lining up the shot. Okay, there we go. Fucking hell. I kind of tickled the guy and he just ran to cover. He knew! I guess I can carry around that gun. Nah, I won't. I keep using a night vision, but probably shouldn't. On the other hand, I probably should. Oh, we don't need energy drinks. What the hell are they gonna do for us here? Go, the zone's farting again, or whatever the zone is doing. Alright, we're here, we have another one. These aren't even anomalies, they're just teleporters. Take his time in lining up the shots. I can't sprint from cover to cover. Oh, there's uh, another uh, piece of armor here. Uh, let's just see what it is. Uh, it's once again a military armored suit. At, th at this point, we're committed to using the other thing. So, screw it. I know there's containers and stuff, but who cares? This looks a little too safe. I know it. I, I'm also really hungry. I can, I can eat some bread though. Just use all the items. Might as well since my hands are away. So I'm simultaneously bandaging myself up. Using medkits. Fuck! I just want you to envision that though. A stalker that's uh, eating a sausage and fixing it, bandaging himself while applying a medkit. Like, probably giving himself some morphine or something. Damn it, the monolith. So, the monolith, uh, if you haven't figured it out, they're basically followers of the Wish Granter. They think that no stalker should get into near the Wish Granter. Uh, because they've been basically indoctrinated by Seed Consciousness. So, that's kind of what the monos are all about. I don't know who the fuck's shooting me. Whatever, let's just go into this thing. I, I just, I don't care. Let's go. Mark one! What the hell? Interesting. I prefer my... My name is Strelok, the Hedgehog. You're 
You're probably wondering why I'm not using the gauze so much. I could. I just don't really care to. I mean, they're both sniper weapons I have here. This one's like a rapid fire sniper, so I don't have to kind of wait. Where'd that guy go? He's like fucking like hiding around. Hate that guy. Good death. Alright, let's use the first aid kit. Oh, and there's our second portal there. Or not even second, we've been into like a thousand of these things. I'm hearing breathing again, which means there's a guy running around. But, you know, if he doesn't see me, then who really cares? What the fuck? Uh, my sight. Uh, this is probably some guys spawning in again. Apparently I can just teleport Monolith in at a whim. But we're, we're just looking for the portal exit. They all have exosuits too. Oh! There are geniuses. I don't really want to go out to where that, that rocket guy is again. Damn it. Gotta kill this guy before I, uh. There we go. I'll give it a second. There's, there was a guy, like, up there with a rocket. Maybe he killed everyone over there. It's really hard to tell. Oh, more. Monolith, step up your game. We gotta go, uh, we gotta go over these bridges, so let's head back to a place where I can get up on a bridge. Oops, oh, I didn't mean to use that. We gotta get over to that thing. Hell, we have to go all the way back, and now we're on this thing. Now we go across this bridge. You know, it's the exosuit makes everything 300% slower. Oh, and there's the there's a portal right there. For sure, that's the last one. Not, not much further now, guys. As I said, the end game here doesn't really make much sense to me. Uh, we're just, you know, hopping through portals, and so... Portals that have absolutely no meaning to anything. 
Alright, so now I'm on this side, so now I can actually go up that thing, because there was a huge amount of shit blocking the way there. Or I could just hop over here. Okay, let's just use the med kit real quick. Oh, someone sees me. I don't know where he sees me. Oh. Are you down there? You silly goose. Okay, well, I... Okay, so I, I got RPG'd to fuck from someone behind there that I apparently missed. Oh, what? That's not fucking good. Okay, I got really lucky there that I was able to actually hide into this box thing here. Because, holy shit. He spawned, like, directly behind me. That was like a real dick move game. Alright. Oh, some more spawning. everybody. Alright, it's the last portal here. I don't know whether I was right or wrong. I guess I'll never know. But I made it. And I guess I should be thankful for that. And that's it. That's the final ending. And uh, that's it for Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Uh, so there's, you know, there's two things I can talk about uh, with regards to just separate kind of like opinions and feedback for one for the game, one for the mod. Uh, the game itself is obviously really, really good and it's surprising because I don't know many games that are really this glitchy that are really this good. Um, Fucking hell, even the credits are glitchy. Look at that, all the fucking text went vertical. Anyways, whatever, who cares. Um, <laughs> it looks kind of mad, like demonic almost. Um, so the game itself, uh, the original game, uh, Benoa, uh, I that's what I played uh, the first time, so I kind of now, I kind of have an understanding what the difference is. It's glitchy either way. Uh, it is a buggy game, and so you really have, do have to depend upon the saves, making a lot of hard saves, and potentially going back if there's something seriously wrong. Um, I would say that is one of the biggest flaws of this game, is just the glitches over and over again. Like It's really random, but despite that, it's very immersive and very, like, you know, you go underground, you actually get freaked out a little bit. Um, you know, it's 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 really good otherwise. Like, I, I usually you'd think that the glitches would break the immersion, but it doesn't. Um, the other thing is it's very, very, if it's your first time playing through it, it's kind of hard to understand 
what you're supposed to be doing and what's going on sometimes. And I remember I tried this game a while back and, you know, that's, that's the problem is if you don't have an understanding of where you're going and things like that, it can be kind of, you can get lost. Uh, I remember I got stuck at like the bridge part at the very beginning of the game. I don't remember why, I think it was because I, I was just getting wrecked. Uh, by the military that was there. I didn't know that there was a side passage around them So it, it kind of I guess the game kind of forces you to be kind of smart about encounters and things like that um, Master difficulty as well uh, You know, it's it's really everything instantly kills you it feels on master difficulty um, the only the only the only way you beat the game is essentially by exploiting uh, the, shittiness, the shittiness of the AI, because the, sh the AI is honestly not that great, uh, especially for, you know, I'd say, I'll give it this, the, the, the monster AI is, is decent, the AI that shoots, the, the AI that actually shoots back at you is really, really bad. So this is why the best parts in the game are honestly when you go underground, because you're most of the time, you're, you're, you're instead of being shot at, you're, you're dealing with the monster AI, which is really good. Or decent, at least, I'd say. It's maybe not the best I've seen, but, like, it's it's still, you know, leagues better than the other guys. Because I noticed that um, I'm able to lean around corners, and then they can't shoot me at all. Which doesn't really make much sense, but if they were able to shoot me, then the game would be actually a whole lot harder. Because, uh, like, they, they kill you instantly on Master Difficulty. It's really bad uh, in, in, in regards to that. Uh, so, definitely the, the game could have been balanced a bit better, and the AI could have been a bit better. Um, other than that, it's really, really fucking good. Uh, it's just, <laughs> and, and it's, this is not necessarily the best Docker game. I think the best one people consider is called Appropriate. Uh, Clear Sky is alright. Um, I, I don't know about Clear Sky, or the, but I, I just hear it's the, probably the lowest of the three games that they released, so. Uh, but I haven't played it. I have to play it. Uh, I'm gonna play it on stream sometime, so, uh, uh, it'll be soon. Because I really like this. This was this was actually a lot of fun to, for me. Because it's 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 a good RPG. Because it's no there's no well it's uh, sorry it's not an RPG it's a shooter. But I'm just saying it's good in the RPG aspect because it's you're not uh, leveling some kind of stupid ass perk system or something like that. It's actually pretty realistic for um, what it would actually kind of be like. You know, you find better weapons instead of and you find better armors rather than you know uh, putting in more agility or something like that. So it's, it's kind of sad that th there hasn't really been any games close to this. Um, the closest thing is like Metro and Metro Last Light, but those aren't, those are very console-fied. They're not very exploration-based and they're very linear as well. This one's very open world. It's a, it's a real shame because, you know, THQ doesn't exist anymore and the company that developed this doesn't exist anymore. So uh, they're both defunct. I have no idea who owns the IP for this. And even if the the people who originally coded and worked on these games, um, you know, they they probably aren't around anymore. Uh, they're probably working for other companies. I know, I know the people who did uh, Metro games. That some of those are ex Stalker uh, developers. So that's why the game has many similarities uh, to begin with. Uh, so why did the company that made this fail? Uh, which is a good question. Um, and I think I have an answer for you. It's the same. It's the same reason Crytek kind of is failing. Uh, which is they they're a developer that kind of came in at a uh, a CD project localization what they didn't make stalker did they I, I was pretty sure that they were the Witcher guys whatever anyways um, so uh, c companies like Crytek and uh, the company that made this game. They kind of came into existence at a very weird time for PC gaming because Steam was just kind of growing into a digital store and retailers were taking PC games off shelves. Not necessarily because of low sales, but more because uh, they were trying to push the, the used game uh, model. And uh, and so the box PC model just... It, 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 it's really bad because you have to have the CD keys and then like there's like the piracy problems and things like that. And and Steam basically uh, alleviated all of this, which is really, you know, that you got, we got a lot to thank Steam for in this regard. So if a company that made a game like this existed today, they would not have nearly as much financial trouble as they did when 
like in 2007, 2006, or whatever, whenever they were making this game. Because this was not on any digital stores. Like, we, we take it for granted these days, but this wasn't on Steam or anything like uh, similar like that. And so you'd have, like, the, the stupid five activation limit DRM and things like that. And it's just very unfriendly to the consumer. Um, so, you know, it's just a shame they were just a couple of years too early to really succeed uh, with regards to the, I don't know, the financially. Uh, it's just, uh, it, as I said, if, if they had stuck in there for a couple more years, I think they would have done a lot better. I don't know. But uh, another, another, like, uh, about the mod, though. So that's enough about the game. The game is really good. I really like the endings. I really like the story. I really like the I really like the atmosphere of it, and the the people who did. There was someone <laughs> clearly working for this company that really liked, uh, really really liked. Was a huge gun enthusiast, and uh, that that was very clear because there, people often talk about this game. It's really really good for the realism in the in weapons and things like that, and it's it's just amazing how moddable it is too. The mods make it crazy crazy good. Uh, someone was mentioning like it's, you know, despite this was two thousand seven, uh, the mod that I used made it look much, much better. Uh, and I'll talk about the mod. Uh, I, I really do like this mod. I, I picked it specifically because it was like a, um, I didn't, I've never seen it before. And uh, I, I wanted to pick something that, you know, wasn't necessarily used a whole lot in terms of mods. Uh, and and so I, I, I found Autumn Aurora and so I'm like, oh, okay, well, I haven't seen many people do playthroughs of this. Uh, so we'll give it a shot. Cause usually people go for either Lurk or Stalker Complete or something else. So this is apparently a compilation of mods, and it's uh, here. I'll just go back to the credits. Uh, it's a compilation of mods. Uh, that's what the modder modder that made it said, and it just it, the lighting effects and things like that. He made it go look more like a kind of autumn. That's uh, hence the autumn aurora. Uh, and it's 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 pretty. It's really good actually. Like it's a nice graphical update, uh, and the UI especially is actually really nice. Uh, the, the UI looks a lot more like Stalker Call of Pripyat, which is a much better UI, in my opinion, as well. Um, so you kind of made it look more like that. So the UI looks a lot better than it would actually in the default game. If, like, if you haven't seen the default game, you should probably look it up and see how the UI would normally look. This one's much more minimalist, minimalistic, and minimalistic means much more immersive. Um, if I had any complaint about this mod, uh, it would basically be that the character models should not have been swapped. Uh, he swapped basically one of the uh, the ones I noticed was the scientist and one of the the, the mustache guy in garbage. Uh, there's a, there was supposed to be a, a, a mustache guy, so the models got swapped. And I felt that was completely unnecessary uh, because when I saw Doctor Kleiner, it was completely out of place and kind of just you know it, it it ruined the whole thing for me in, in that regard. Like with um, uh, just I, I don't know, I, I didn't like that. Like it just—it was so out of out of place, so I don't really know why uh, he chose to do that. That would be my one complaint, if anything. Otherwise, it's really really good mod, and I would actually rec I would recommend it. Otherwise, if you, if you want to uh, do playthroughs of this game, because uh, it actually made the game look incredible. Um, the depth of field, especially, because I I wouldn't, didn't actually think that this game would support something like depth of field, but it does. And the only reason I wasn't using it, as I said, was because it just fucked up with the uh, compression on YouTube. Uh, but uh, uh, other than that, you know, it's really nice just just for playing by yourself because it makes the game look really, really good. And uh, other than that, you know, I, I, I had a couple of problems with uh, both, like, I guess running the mod properly and it went through a couple of iterations and also, you know, my own video uh, quality uh, rendering, I, I also fiddled around with a little bit to try and make it look a little bit better. So it's kind of funny how this LP was basically just a progression of of uh, experiments throughout it uh, to make it look better. But other than that, you know. So th thanks a lot to uh, you guys for watching. Thanks a lot to the guy who made the mod. Uh, you did a really good job and it's uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, and I, I'm now kind of upset because now I don't think anything I'll do after this is... Uh, gonna quite compete because this is a really good LP so I had a lot of fun with this game too a really great game so anyways uh, thanks and take care bye everyone